Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you insert a new chart into a worksheet, it will appear as an embedded chart object within the worksheet. When a chart is embedded within a worksheet, you can move it around within that worksheet and also resize it to the desired size. Before you do this, however, you will need to ensure that you have the chart area selected. To select the chart area, you can either click into the blank area of the chart object to select the entire chart, or you can choose Chart Area from the Chart Elements drop-down within the Current Selection button group on the Layout tab of the Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. To move the chart, just click and drag inside of the chart area within the chart. The mouse pointer will appear as a four-pointed arrow while the chart is being moved. You will also see an outline of where the chart will be placed when you release your mouse pointer. When the outline appears in the desired location, release the mouse button to drop the chart into its new location within the worksheet. To resize the chart, place your mouse pointer over one of the dotted resizing areas that appear at the four corners and the four sides of the chart inside of the light blue border. When you are in the correct position, you will see your mouse pointer become a double pointed arrow. At that point, click and drag to resize the chart area to your desired width and height. Also, you may want the selected chart to appear as the only object in its own worksheet. You may also want to move the chart to a different worksheet but still have it remain as an embedded object within a different worksheet. You can accomplish either task by selecting the chart area and then clicking the Move Chart button that appears within the Location button group on the Design tab of the Chart Tools Contextual tab. Doing this will open the Move Chart dialog box and here you decide where to place your chart. First select either the Option button for New Sheet or Object In as desired. If you choose New Sheet, then type the name for the new worksheet into the text box to the right of the Option button. This option places the chart as the only object within its own worksheet. This maximizes the amount of space available for plotting charted data. If you choose the Object In option, then use the drop-down to the right of that Option button to select the name of the worksheet into which you want to embed the selected chart object. Once you've made your choice in this dialog box, simply click the OK button to move the chart. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.